Well, you may ask yourself, what daft stuff is he doing in the workshop now? Well, this is an old deep fat fryer. That <laughs> many of these things, they're very, very cheap. Um, more or less a throwaway item. But I cleaned it once. <laughs> well, last time I cleaned it, and it stopped working. So I shoved it in the in the workshop here and was going to have a look at it. And then uh, I plugged it in one day and it worked again. So I guess I've got some water in it somewhere. But I want to try this and see what it's like as a parts washer. So I've got a little bit of water in there at the moment. And I've got a bit of manky something just to see. And I'm going to drop that in. And let it simmer away for a little while. And see what happens. This could be an absolute failure. But I've got several bits that I want to clean up. And... Uh, We'll see what happens, hey? Just come into the boil. There we go. Lovely. Might want a bit more water in. I don't suppose this steam in the workshop's a very good idea, is it? Ooh, boiling away. Let's turn it down a bit. Maybe we need to put the lid on and just forget about it. Ooh, boiling well. I don't think there's any way of keeping that on a like a rolling boil is there? That's just clicked off. I suppose what I really ought to do is set up some sort of electro electrolysis thing, which is something I want to do. So I won't see about doing that. Anyway, I'll run this for a little while and see what happens. Okay, I'm starting to uh, drill out through the uh, drive dog here and I want to put a bar through that will catch onto the chuck. This is the one I'm going to use since it's the homemade. I didn't want to spoil the other uh, drive dog I've got off lathe carrier. So I'm going to use this one and drilling that little bit there I'll find a piece of round bar, probably 10mm, 3.8 somewhere around that put that through so it'll drive the uh, part I've got to make for James so here we go Okay, right. I've got the piece of E and eight steel in there. I just want to put some centers in. 
So I'm quite pleased with how I've got this trued in. If you can see, let me come around this side, spin it. Well, that is about one hundredth of a millimeter, and that is on a bit of stick out there as well. So I'm going to centre drill that end of the bar, and I'll centre drill the other one. I'm going to leave it at the length it is, it's, it's well over length at the moment and I shall leave it at that and uh, yeah, then we'll go from there I think what I ought to do to help um, improve my chances of making a, a good job of this is I've started off by having that done up like Mr. Fenner so that might be good and I think what else I'll do is I'll have a go at putting a black mark on my thumb like Mr. Pete that's something like his so hopefully that's a good omen as well. And now we'll get on a machine. for that end. Okay, that's indicated in again. I doubt you'll see much of how that moves from that angle, but there is again about one hundredth of a thousand of one hundredth of a millimetre, sorry. I've got um, the centre in there now, I've indicated that, that's within one or two hundredths of a millimetre, but I'm just going to go in and skim the centre so I know that's accurate. do for that. Now I want to drill the hole in in there for this pin to go into. It's quite a tight fit so I'm just going to that'll do. So that's in there nice. Now that's going to want to be kind of in that position there because I've got a little shoulder to cut one end at 11mm I'll leave a little bit so if I cut that to there we should be about right on length okay that is in there I've got just enough pressure that just holds it against that jaw as it comes around. I'm just going to see that it spins up okay and then I'm going to put the indicator on and just travel the indicator up and down on this side here to make sure 
we've got the tail stop parallel. Seems okay. Okay, I hope this shows up for you. Now, let's see if I can set that back on zero again. Okay, remember there's a little bit of wear in this bed here. So we'll come back so it does diff off there. That should come back. Right, we are about one hundredth of a millimetre out. So we're down in tenths of thou there or tenths, tenths of a thou. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. So I think we're good to go to start machining. Okay, so we should be able to establish a shoulder there. there and the conversion for 15 mil should be 591 thou and I am at at the moment uh, 600 about 603 thou so just a little over 10,000 to go. Okay. We'll go a little bit further. spring cut on that which I'm happy with being a little bit under. Yeah, 5.90. Hockey dock, that's that end done. 
now we just got to over end it and sort out the other end all right I've marked a line just short of where we want to be we want to be 114.4 uh, mil between the shoulders and I think I'm about 116 there so this will all be cut off but what I'll do is I'll go in a little bit on here and uh, bring that down to the 15 mil. Now we only want 10 mil or 11 mil, sorry. So we don't want a lot, but I can go over and trim it back down too. So. I kind of plunge in there a bit. We are five ninety five ninety three. Okay, give it a couple of thousand there. I'm happier to go slightly under them because it's really cold at the moment and we are going to be below ambient temperature so I think that's going to be fine let's just give that a little should do now we need to get the between centers spot on 114.4 14.5 let's just 
take a tiny little bit more off of that. Okay, we're back at this, trying this again. Um, I've changed the water over in it. <clears throat> I think it may have had a bit too much detergent. That was only like um, a washing liquid was in there, but I've got some washing tablets here. The bubbles that's in there is just the residue of what was in there before, and I've got some soda crystals. I'm going to try some um, electrolysis with that later. What I want to do is start cleaning this little marples shamrock vice up that's the next little project i want to do so i thought i'd give this a try so washing it up i'll take that screw out anyway that's probably the most grimy thing that's in there Get some pliers. Greasy manky spring in and wash it and that bit. Now I'm going to try one of these in. Maybe that should have been half of one of them tablets, but we will see. Oh, that's bubbling. Oh. I think I might have that at a place where it's going to bubble and boil away nicely. that last bit I put in there, I put those um, uh, bolt cutter door jaws in there, I think they were more rusty than just dirty, so we're going to try it with this. So I'll come back in a little while and we'll see how this is cooking. Okay, so this has had probably about half an hour in there, and that's come up. Well, it's got most of the gunge and stuff off it. So, put the other end in there. But yeah, that's going to clean up real nice now, I think. So I've tried this piece here. And I've got most of the rubbish off it. I've managed to get that jaw off. One screw broke off in there. I've got a new set of jaws. I don't know whether you can see there. So yeah I've got a new set of jaws for this and one broke off, one screw, but the new set of jaws that I ordered, um, the whole spacings are different so I'm gonna to have to re-drill them. But never mind. That doesn't really feel grimy in there anymore like it was. There's probably a bit in there, but it's not as bad as it was. Oh, I think there's some success with this. I don't think it's that brilliant, but it was just a mess about and a see what it would do. Probably okay for small parts and they want to be in there a lot longer, so. 
I think that'll do for now. Take care. See you next week. Ta-ta.